Welcome back to Bikers Lab. This is where riders come to find out why it works, how it works, and where we provide you with the information you need to make an educated decision on your next purchase. I'm John Boucher and today we're looking at more technical accessories and components for high performance motorcycles and ATVs. Bikers Lab scans the globe for innovative products that raise the bar. More specifically today, the handlebar. We have WRP's Off-Road American Oversize and the American X-Bar, and we also have bars for your street bike. WRP is an Italian brand internationally recognized by both professional racers and consumers. In addition to handlebars, WRP produces high-end chains, throttle tubes, brake and clutch levers, brake discs, brake pads, sprockets, height adjusters, air filters, oil filters, plastics, off-road foot pegs, and grips. The WRP brand was created in 1999 with a key focus that would test products in the most challenging environments on the planet. WRP products compete and are tested in MotoGP, Moto2, World Superbike, Motocross, MX Freestyle, Supermoto, African Rally, along with American Supercross and Motocross. WRP relies on a skilled team of specialists comprised of retired and active riders like Thad Duval, Troy Bayless, Kenny Roberts, Troy Corser, and the Monster Energy Pro Circuit Kawasaki Racing Team. WRP has one very simple goal in mind, to develop top quality products and accessories for both professional racers and everyday riders who are looking for better performance. When we bring a product into the biker's lab and start to put it through the steps, we start off with a very basic premise. What problem does this solve? The problem with most standard handlebars that come with your motorcycle is that when you crash, the handlebars bend and one of two things is going to happen. Your motorcycle and the performance of that motorcycle is going to be compromised or your day of riding is over. Every year we see the cost of materials go up, but to stay competitive in the global market, OEMs can't always pass on those price increases to the consumer. So what do they do? They cut corners on materials which results in the same looking motorcycle, but you end up with a pair of handlebars that fold like a soft taco the first time they hit the ground. These WRP handlebars are an investment in better performance and insurance that your day of riding won't end until you want it to. We have three different types of WRP bars that have been produced specifically for the American market. First up is what they call the American Oversized Bar. The most popular grade of aluminum used in handlebars today is 2014. Some use 7,000, but WRP uses the strongest grade of aluminum available on the market today. It's 7075-T6 aluminum. Another way to increase the strength of a handlebar is to increase the diameter, which they've done with this oversized bar. We have the strongest material, but also the most lightweight material. This one weighs in at 0.72 pounds. This off-road bar features a 1 and 1 8 or 28.6 millimeter clamping area diameter and a laser etched America logo. You have a couple options to choose from. It comes in black or bronze. You can choose a high profile bend or a low profile bend. And there are two more options on the bar pad, which is sold separately. Two final bits of details are the anodized shot peen finish and the knurling on the left grip area to prevent grip slippage. You can pick these up for under $50, which is probably makes it the least expensive upgrade you can do for the most amount of insurance and performance. Next up is another off-road bar for your ATV or dirt bike. The America X-Bar features a patented design that's been tested and developed by world champions. The America X-Bar is 200 to 250 grams lighter than competitors' bars. Like the America Oversized Bar, it has a 1 and 1 8 or 28.6 millimeter clamping area diameter anodized shot peen finish and knurling left grip area to prevent slippage. The America X also features a laser at position grid along with a cross brace for additional strengthening and sufficient flex. There's a low and high end bend. It comes in black and bronze and the crossbar pad is sold separately. You can pick these up for around $109. Now, if you're going for that street fighter look, or maybe you're working on a street tracker, you're going to want to stay tuned for these WRP street bars. Made of 6082 T6 anacrodial high-grade aluminum alloy with a sandblasted anodized finish, these bars provide you with a strength and look that you've been searching for. The street bars have a 22 millimeter clamping area, and you have five colors to choose from, and two shapes, either low or medium. Like the off-road American oversized bar, you're going to find these WRP street bars around that $50 mark, which makes them an inexpensive performance upgrade. Well, that's a good look from the lab. And if you're in the market for some aftermarket bars, I think you really have to consider a company like WRP. I hope we provided you with some information that you need to make an educated purchase. And until next time, I'm John Boucher and I'm going back to the lab. <laughs>